It's not often that I get to introduce a former student of mine. I got to <laughs> know this young man when he co-starred with me on a little show called In Living Color. <laughs> which was well established before he got involved. After three intense years of my mentoring and guidance and tutelage, he went on to become an Oscar, BAFTA, Golden Globe, and Grammy winner, but no Tony. Needless to say, <laughs> he's disappointed me. You can see him play a vampire hunter named Bud in his new movie, Day Shift, which premieres on Netflix this Friday. Please welcome my man, Jamie Foxx. <laughs> You look good. You look good. Brother, you look, I didn't know. Look good? I got up at 8.45. <laughs> at 8.45, I put this suit on. I said, God willing, and the creek don't ride. <laughs> oh, man. Listen, I want to say this. David Allen Greer! Stop! <laughs> No, but I want to give you some love, man. You know, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> this is your challenge okay. to receive love, Jamie. Yes, just but... listen. Can I just give it back? No, man. Let me tell you something. Can I just give I'm it back to him? I'm a big fan of yours. Okay. Listen to me. I'm a big fan of yours. Since we started working together, I've enjoyed watching how your career has grown. Thank you, Dave. And it's been a wonder to see, man. Thanks, it's really, I, I love it. it. And we go way way back. Why do I feel like something's happening? No, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Don't you feel like something's happening? Okay, go, go, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. You've been on the show how many times? 19 times? 19. Yeah, I've been on only 36 times. <laughs> but wait, hold up. When, now, when is the first, where, where, where did we meet? I thought, I thought we met at a club here in L.A., a comedy club. Yeah, 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 in the hood. It was in the hood, though. It was in the yeah. hood. We just, uh, just starting out. Not the hood's bad, I just... But it's the hood. so wait, That's so I when know, I man. first met you, tell them what you heard about. I thought me. you was Richard Pryor's. <laughs> I thought you were Richard Pryor's like long lost son, <laughs> and I thought you changed your name because you wanted to do it on your own steam. And I, I was, was like, like no. "That's the best Lean. rumor ever." Because <laughs> when you started, I was like, "Uh oh!" And then what happened? And no, it, yo, but I was, you know, I was so country man. I didn't know what was going. You just looked like a big ass star to me, man. <laughs> I remember I had a Jerry curl uh, that was dry at the. I had. Brother. I only had enough money to keep this part wet, brother. I got Those evidence. Those who know who Jerry Curl, ain't nobody know what a Jerry. Okay. Well, I'm about to show him. Well, I got on. evidence. What was that? I got a picture of Jamie that I keep here. Bro, bro, yo, yo, I got that. like you were gapped up, and you were like. <laughs> Now, see, that's the California curl right there. For yeah, those who, for so. curl entrepreneurs, that was the, I had the young, little, little curls in the front and the big ones in the back. And from the side, it looked like a Z28. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know what's crazy? I love David Allen Greer. <laughs> and, now, wait. And, and, and wait, wait. I love, see, he doesn't understand that I love him so much that I actually carry <laughs> a picture don't do that. of don't him. Do that. Don't... I was seven years old, man. Look at that, man. But look at my head. Yeah. It looked like somebody hit me right on my head right there, because there's a dip in there. Yeah, I just 
I carry a little childhood <laughs> picture of you in the back of my pocket. Just in case. And why the back pocket, though, man? I, I don't, you know. don't want to put it in the front pocket. OK. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's weird. You know? it, well, yeah, we're going to move Have on from right here. Hey, 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 I don't. <laughs> but you know what? A lot of times, Deep. OK. A lot of times people ask me, what? What was the favorite sketch oh. that I worked on? Yeah. And one sketch always comes up when we played The Barbers. The Barbers, right, 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 right. And yeah, you I remember, remember that. when James Brown came on. James Brown, I remember that. I remember that. Bruh, James Brown came on and they said, what, first of all, you must call him Mr. Brown. Don't be calling Ooh. him James. I, said, I remember okay, that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right. Then they said, don't touch him. Do not touch his hair. <laughs> this whole sketch was about getting your hair cut. <laughs> and they said, do not touch. <laughs> Mr. Brown's hair. And I would have touched my hair. Yeah, but I was <laughs> nervous. <laughs> I was in back, and every time I got near that apartment, he's like, hey! <laughs> I was like, damn, right, I was right, nervous right, as right, hell, right. man. There was that, the, the, the barbers, and also when we did uh, poetry from the hood. Oh, you remember that? Yes, the poetry. We got a clip. They're going to show. They're going to show. Let us. A helicopter looking for the murder, two in the morning, and I grab a fat burger. <laughs> Use my AK. Well, I, I, I say it was a good day. <laughs> I'm rolling on rims, eating soul food, neck bones. From him and him. <laughs> I'll take you to the pet soon. Went to mom's house and dropped a load in the bathroom. <laughs> Yo, young bucks. Yeah. Young yeah. bucks. Yeah. And you know. You know what's crazy? That came from like part of my stand-up too, because I used to change. Since I went to classical like training in school, I would take like hood, or I keep saying hood. I would take hip hop lyrics, and 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 say, "What if Snoop sung classical?" <laughs> Rolling down the street, smoking in dough, <laughs> sipping on gin and juice, the juice, the juice, with my mind on my money. And my money on my mind, Biatch! <laughs> so wait. <laughs> Jamie, I remember you had recording of... Biatch! He built a studio, man. He built a studio in your little dressing room back in the I day. I did. I was trying to catch a check. Hey, man. But are, are you conservatory trained? You went to music? Yeah, school? I went to college at a, on a classical piano scholarship. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you, ain't never, you ain't never seen nobody reload the air gun, right? No. <laughs> Right, that's, that's but too, that's but no, you had that's a recording too. studio in the Yeah, I went to room. college on a classical piano scholarship. So I remember, you know, I, I just sort of used that for my stand-up and stuff. But I was, I was, you know, I grew up in Terrell, Texas. So excuse it was me, interesting. Excuse me, excuse me. What? You grew up where? Terrell. Terrell okay, because I thought you were from Dallas. No, 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 no. Well, because no, no. it says here on the card you were uh, visited the Dallas Cowboys training camp and you was talking like, you know, that was your home team, but... That's not Terrell. Is the Terrell Tigers? Is that yeah, what it is? The Terrell yeah, the Terrell Tigers. But I'm only 28 miles away from Dallas. That's not. That's, I can't stop, root for stop, the Cowboys. Stop, stop, That's not stop, fair, right? Stop, stop. That's like somebody the... talking about they live in the city of industry, talking about they living in Hollywood. It's not the same that's thing. That's not fair. <laughs> Jamie. Don't clap for that. <laughs> don't you clap. Don't clap for that. I'm, you... I'm 28 miles away. That's, that's, who else was I going to root for? That's the Cowboys, man. Cowboys all day. America's team. <laughs> Is America's now you team going? Detroit. You like the Lions, right? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Boy, is, are they going to do good this year or what? We're going to kill it. We're going to the we. Super Bowl. We. Exactly. I'm, I'm, they, I but was why is it coach. always we won, but y'all lost? <laughs> Look, I go down with I, Ooh, that was going to be bad. I'm going to say I go down with <laughs> I, I, go, I go all the way with my team. Whether we win or lose, it's Cowboys all day, baby. Jerry Jones, dog. <laughs> Well, wait, now, Jamie. <laughs> um, did, you, did you play football in yeah. high school? Yeah, I passed over 1,000 yards in my school. My, my, Yo, last, my last year, 1,000 yards. Let me tell yards. you something. 1,000 yards. Now, I had 18 interceptions, but I mean, I wasn't counting that. I was, but, I was... but wait, is that the only sport you played? You just... No, no, no. I played tennis. I played, uh, uh, I ran track. I went to state in the high jump. What? 
I went did you do the Fosbury flop? I mean, what I did. Ah, that there. Ah. And my curl was flying. It was crazy. But I went to state in the high jump, 6'6", six, six, so basically 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, basically, I could jump over LeBron's head. That's how, that's how high. Oh. Now, I had a 13-step drop because I had to be running full speed because my calf muscles were so small. Yeah, I, I know that doesn't make sense. I didn't, uh, I didn't do any sports when I was in high school. I just... <laughs> and... well, that, that's definitely a sport. That's definitely a sport, baby. But wait, there's a clip of you online where yeah. you throw this football. Yeah, let me do this, though. Uh, there's a guy named Stefan Diggs and, yeah. and his brother. He says that I didn't know how to throw a football. We just had this argument in this club. I said, yo, bro, I really got an arm, so I just had to let y'all know. Show, show him the clip. Show him the clip. No draw. Yeah. Aye. 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 No, wait, wait, hold on. Jamie, for real. So you just do that, you do yeah. that for, how many times does it take you to do that? One. <laughs> no, it just happened to have a camera. I, it's like, it's like a, that's my trick shot. Like, I've been doing that for like years. So I could pull it out. All right. Pause. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. I like that. Now, I, I'm gonna tell on you, I remember one time we did this Wanda sketch. <laughs> and this was a country western Wanda sketch. He don't know I'm gonna tell this story, but this extra, they were supposed to throw pennies. They were supposed to what? Throwing pennies. Yeah, and a dude yeah. hit Jamie with a penny, and he came all the way out of Wanda. <laughs> <laughs> you were Wanda one minute, next minute, hit me with another penny. <laughs> I will bust your ass. Don't you ever. <laughs> I was like, damn, it cracked me up. Yeah, I, re I remember that. Those, those days were so crazy, insane, doing that Wanda character. I remember the first time we ever, like, launched that character and, and you, oh, we Tommy were Davidson, and, well, and, we were and Wanda was like, hey, for real, though. No. Well, anyway. that's when I really knew you were an athlete, because you had to tackle me in the sketch, <laughs> man. <laughs> Dude, you tackled me in the sketch, and it was perfect form. Like, you hit oh, with the shoulder, wrap the waist, <laughs> boom, yeah, yeah, flip yeah, me down. Yeah. I was like, man, let's do this. Wanda, Wanda was very strong. Wanda, Wanda was not playing. If she had like she was on them, uh, she was on them enhancements. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I know you told me when we were working on Dad Stop Embarrassing Me, yeah. and this was in the midst of COVID. There was no vaccine, nothing. I know. You had how many members of your family living with you? We had like 14 people, 60 people at my house living. Wait, how many? 16 people, but because we wanted to sort of, we didn't know that we were gonna have to be sequestered that long, so we had the kids and everything. So we had like 16 people living in the house. It was Did crazy. they all get along before they lived in the house? Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Mm. You had to figure out how to, the only thing that tripped me out was, was sometimes they would get in my stash. Like I had like certain cookies. Stash? Oh, okay. No, 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 okay. not like that. Uh, okay. No, not okay. That, not that stash. <laughs> Which one of y'all? No, but I, ha I had these cookies that I was like, and I had put them up somewhere, nobody didn't get them. I went and my cookies were gone. Right. And I woke everybody up, checking people's mouths. <laughs> <laughs> Got my hey, man, that reminds me when I was in high school, one time my mom woke me up and she said, is this yours? What? She had a bag of marijuana and I was looking at my brain, you know, I was like 15. I was like, oh, God, is it, is it mine? Lord, no. I looked, I said, no, it's not mine. <laughs> so I was a good day that day. It was my sister's and she got busted. Anyway, <laughs> um, did you write... No, wait, you did a, 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 a special, a stand-up special? What? No, you wrote a stand-up special during COVID. Is that true? I didn't write a st I'm I'm working on my stand-up. Now, do you so still I'm go going to the back club? out. So what? make sure y'all come check me out and come back out. Yo. And 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 it's uh, you know cuz we used to do stand-up, you know, back Brother, when it was safe. Tell them about it. When it was safe. Like, it really know, like was safe, but we were crazy. out in the hinterlands, bro. Yeah, man. So, so we were, we actually were on tour together. We might yep. have to go and hook up and go out here and just well, you kill know, these I'm folks, always man. Come on, let's But do dig, that. man, when you go out there, I remember I hit the stage, he said, you better be funny. <laughs>
We don't want nothing for free. I'm yeah, like, you yeah, know, they didn't yeah. care. Black folks did not care. Yeah, but but so, I, so I'm going out. I'm going out uh, this fall. I'm going to go to all of the spots that I started out at. So it's going to be real intimate and things like that. And I just got to, you know, a lot to talk about, man. I got And I got stories from, uh, like, like the, I, I'll tell you the funny See, version. Do a joke. Do a joke. No, no, no. I'm not going to do Come that. Come on, man. Everybody. Come on, Come on, Come on, But, but. I have this. I have this one part where I'm just telling stories how I'm like Black Forest Gump. Okay. Like I'm always at the craziest place. Like when when Chappelle was on stage. Yes. I ran up you on about- stage. Yeah. When the dude ran up and That's Chappelle. Crazy. Damn, it's crazy. Somebody killing my ass. <laughs> so, so I tell these stories about how I'm always in the craziest place. I had to run up on stage and and, and help. You know what's Chappelle. funny, man? What's- Damn, it. you ever in trouble? You ever in trouble? Get Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx help you. Thank you, Jamie Foxx. It's crazy. Bam, pow! Whenever something happens in black people news, we text each other. <laughs> I was like, man, can you believe that? <laughs> yeah, so I, so I tell all of these different stories, working on all my little, you know, things, impersonate. So make sure you check it out. It's going to be dope. Well, we got more with Jamie Foxx after this. <laughs> The inimitable Jamie Foxx. Now, Jamie, I saw your movie oh, man. <laughs> the other day. First of all, I love vampire movies. Oh, thanks, this bro. movie slammed. Oh, man. Thank Tell you, me about bro. it, man. Tell me about it. First of all, y'all mess with that clip? Hey. <laughs> so the origin of this, J.J. Perry is a director, mm-hmm. and he is a stunt coordinator like goo. Wow. So all of your Fast and the Furious, all of your John Wick, he shot second unit. Even Django, he shot, shot second unit on that. So all of those stunts, that was his. This is his debut movie. And he says, listen, I got a cool little movie for you. You, pool, you clean pools during the day, and you, and you hunt vampires. I said, what? And he showed, and he showed me the preves, and I said, bro, I'm in. Some of, there are two, two or three sequences in here that are the most incredible fight scenes that you've ever seen. And... When the trailer came out, the trailer did 30 million views in less than 24 hours. And you did all your own stunts. Yeah. And what the reason... Well, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold yeah. on. You did all your own stunts. Yeah, yeah, I did. That's me. OK, all right, OK, OK. Yeah. Jamie, 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 OK, man. Yeah, don't mess around. Okay. So, but what was tripped, they tripped out on because at the beginning of the trailer, you see me pull a shotgun and blow this white grandmother mm-hmm. into, into, the ba- into the bathroom. So homies that didn't even see the whole, whole trailer was like, yo, man, you shooting white grannies out here? I said, no. <laughs> I said, no, bro, you got to watch the whole trailer. But she ends up being a vampire that's yeah. thousands of years old. And I don't want to give the plot away, but me, my job is to kill the vampires, mm-hmm. take the fangs to the vampire union, and get money for the fangs. And you got to tell them why, though. And the reason that I do it is because my daughter's mom, who's played wonderfully by Megan Good. Beautiful. Yeah, for Megan Good. Megan Good. She says, I'm leaving. I'm taking your daughter unless you come up with the right things and the money to take care of all these different things. So I said, listen, just don't, give me some time. So I said, I'm going to go. They don't know that I'm a vampire hunter. That's the one thing. So I'm gonna go, I go, I go to my guy, Snoop Doggy Dog, uh, who, who, Wait, play, who play, he plays one of the union reps at the vampire, that, and, and we, and he says, listen, I gotta get, hey, look, hey what's up, Kaz? I gotta, get, <laughs> I gotta get you back in the union. So he gets me back in the union, and I, I'll leave it at that. And oh, Dave Franco. Yes. Dave Franco. Listen to Y'all mess with Dave. Listen Y'all to mess with Dave in this movie, Dave man. Franco is amazing. I've been clocking this guy for years. I said, I won't do the movie unless Dave is in it. And Dave, <clears throat> Dave Franco steals the movie. It's, it's, Jamie, it's, I asked you about the vampire fangs because we're told 
very specific information. Yeah. That when you take a vampire's fangs, that's it. Yeah. They can't regrow them. They can't regrow them. So, Jamie, I want to ask you <laughs> yeah. a few vampire questions. Well, I know let's, let's come you are a method it. actor. Yes, you I am. You go deep into a character. I go all character. the way deep into all a All right. Well, this is uh, question number one. Jamie, what can you wear to ward off a vampire? You can wear garlic. Correct! <laughs> Sit down. We got more questions. Yeah, all right. Now, Jamie, can a vampire enter your house on their own? Oh, yes. I'm sorry, Jamie, that is wrong. Why can't they? Because you have to invite a vampire in. Mm. You already have step. No, I, no, I'll, stop, I'll, stop, I'll, stop. I'll, okay. All right, I'll, it's, Next it's, question. It's Mr. David's question, but I'll challenge that. <laughs> Next question. How do you keep a vampire from coming in your house? I didn't even know this one. You put a cross over your bed. Well. Not quite. Damn, that's one too wrong. No, you have to have a mirror facing outward on oh, your door. Yeah, that too. I said that. But because, you know, because vampires, you can't see their reflection. Exactly. When you so. see the movie, you see I got a mirror. It's the whole thing. I was waiting for the movie to come out so you could see my answer. <laughs> All right, this is an easy one. Don't get all in your feelings now. This is an easy one. <coughs> Jamie? Uh-oh, you need some yeah, water? I'm sorry, I was water. trying to be sexy. Okay, okay. So. all right. <laughs> Jamie, how do you find a vampire grave? Ooh, uh, ways. No. <laughs> Jamie, is that your final answer? Ways. I use ways all the time to find vampires. Jamie, is that your final answer? How do I find what a vampire's grave is? Yeah, it's easy. You don't know? No, how? Well, you lead a virgin boy <laughs> through a graveyard, <laughs> what a church ground. And the virgin boy must be on a virgin stallion. And the horse will supposedly balk when it comes to a vampire grave. That is the nastiest answer I've ever heard. It, <laughs> it is. We have one final question. Got it. I got this one. Come All right, on, guys. We got according this. to Balkan legend, yes. According to Balkan legend, what fruit can turn into a vampire? when left out long enough. Oh, man, that's... Is it oh. an avocado? Give me some music. Prickly pear, melon, or an orange? Which fruit will turn into a vampire if you leave it out long enough? We need your answer, Jamie. Uh, help me out, audience. <laughs> he didn't say... He didn't say... He didn't say melon. Oh, uh, yeah, I did. So What'd you know, say? I said melon, orange, oh. prickly pear, or avocado. All right, let's just edit this. Uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's, uh, melon! Jamie Foxx! That is correct. That is correct, Jamie Foxx. You don't win a damn thing, but thank you. Day Shift premieres on Netflix this Friday when we come back. We will have Abby Jacobson for you. Yeah,